So, guys, this is something that is true for all functions, not just true for this, this chapter, OK? Um, so again, if I want to find the x-intercept, x-intercept, y is equal to 0. So we set y equal to 0, and then we have x times x minus 1 times x plus 2. Now, this kind of brings up something interesting that hopefully you guys remember. What, what property do we want to apply when we have a product equal to 0? The zero product property. And if you guys remember, the zero product property basically states when you have terms separated by multiplication, or these expressions separated by multiplication, you can set each and every one of them equal to zero. Okay? Now, the values that make the function equal to zero, does anybody remember what we call those? It's going to be on your notes written up there, guys, but these are called these zeros. And what we're going to learn in this chapter is we're also going to talk about how we, we can also write these in set notation. Okay, So the zeros are the values that make your function equal to 0. But again, I'm asking for what are the intercepts. So again, the x-intercept is when y is equal to 0. So the x value are all of these. 0, 0, 1, 0, and negative 2, 0. The y-intercept is when x is equal to 0. So I mean, I'll, I'll write it out for you guys, this first one. But what I want you guys to see, guys, if I have 0 times any, either of these, what is my final answer going to be? 0. zero. So y is equal to 0. Therefore, the y-intercept is 0, comma 0, or at least as a coordinate point. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look now at my graph. <coughs> 